welcome to ADI Catalyst. My name is Fiona Tracy. I'm the Managing Director of our Industrial Automation Group. And here at ADI, we have 10,000 engineers globally dedicated to solving the world and humanity's toughest engineering challenges. Some of them are based here in ADI Catalyst, and we're going to find out more about what they're up to. We're living in a time of extraordinary change. In this fourth industrial revolution, every individual, business, uh, industry and government is impacted by breakthroughs in computing power, artificial intelligence, connectivity and other innovative technologies. This is a revolution that's sweeping the globe at ever increasing pace. Industrialization has, over the decades, been a strong force for good. It has created the American middle class since the 60s. It has lifted 800 million people in China out of poverty. It has exploded global trade across the world. But this industrialization has come at a cost. It has come at a cost to our environment. The current industrial model is failing our planet. We generate 7.6 billion tonnes of industrial waste in the US alone annually. 80% of the energy in the sector comes from fossil fuels. And if you take the supply journey of a simple screw, it might be used in Europe, but it's produced in Asia, it has to traverse 12,000 kilometres around the globe before it's used. Think of the unnecessary carbon footprint of that. We also then have the challenge around sourcing skilled labour, which is getting worse and worse. About 50% of global energy is consumed annually in the industrial sector, which includes commercial buildings. But today we are here to look at energy efficiency and improving efficiency and energy optimization in our manufacturing environments. Firstly, energy demand will double by 2050. That means we need twice as much energy as we have today. Now, a quarter of that energy will come from renewable energy sources, and ADI is continuing to invest in innovative technologies and solutions to support this pivot towards renewable energy and scalable uh, renewable technologies for manufacturing. It's a huge transformation. It's a daunting and an inspiring challenge, and it's one at ADI we're excited to solve. So let's find out how. The future requires a fundamental shift in how we operate, how we make things, how we build things. It demands re-architecting systems from the ground up for energy efficiency and energy optimization. It requires re-engineering our production flows and deploying more automation and robotics so that we can drive utilization, productivity and support this move towards modular manufacturing which it gives us that customised output. It is fundamentally an engineering problem and that's good news because here at ADI foundational to our DNA is solving complex engineering problems in unique and innovative ways. We can help you re-architect your systems for energy efficiency and we do that by um, orchestrating our innovation system and the combined power of our sensing, our actuation, our precision measurement, our connectivity and our computing power at the intelligent edge. And that's to engineer a sustainable future. That is a future we all want. The answer lies at the edge in capturing real world analog signals and interpreting them to fuel a data driven transformation. This is effectively a big analog problem. By understanding energy usage and the flows of energy within and between systems, we can optimise our manufacturing for efficiency, but we can also make our, our production systems more flexible. And this is what will enable us to make these smaller batch sizes. And that will enable onshoring, reshoring, and what we call greenshoring, making goods closer to the source of use. So solving the problem of shipping our screw around the world. So digital factories are the answer. They're data-driven operations. They're leveraging 
uh, data and sensor insights to inform decision making and they're deploying automation and advanced robotics to drive utilization and productivity. So we have this combination of data and automation and that is what is enabling us to optimize for energy. So digital factories are fundamentally based on three key things. Seamless connectivity networks, flexible adaptive control systems and intelligence at the edge. So let's look at each of those in turn. Connect is about transparent access to data and that's both real-time and non-real-time data. And our factory networks, they are being upgraded from legacy field box technologies to high bandwidth deterministic Ethernet, and that's based on time-sensitive networking. And this will enable control traffic, which is mission critical in our factory, and non-control traffic, which is things like diagnostics information or asset health data, to traverse the network without compromising that mission critical control traffic. Connectivity networks based on ADI technology are providing access to operational level insights and that's going to enable us to uh, deliver real-time adaptive energy management. Control is where we precisely control industrial operations and industrial equipment to drive utilization and productivity. Control systems based on ADI technology are optimizing operational accuracy to minimize energy usage. So that it's about conserving energy through precise control of industrial operations. At ADI, our foundational capability is precision measurement. And that is what's enabling us to precisely measure and control industrial operations. And by doing this, we have better quality of the output product, we're using less raw materials, and we're uh, creating less waste. Interpret is about capturing edge insights and optimizing yield. Customers are coming to ADI and they're looking for us to help them capture intelligence at the edge and sensorize the factory floor. They're deploying our technologies like innovative time of flight for depth sensing, for perception and awareness in autonomous robots. They are deploying our precision uh, gripper technology, which allows picking and placing of different types of products with our ADI Trinamic stepper motor control. Or they're using our zero power position sensing capabilities, which is um, dramatically increasing uptime of a robot arm following an unscheduled power outage. Edge devices based on ADI technology are enabling early detection of product defects or performance issues in a piece of equipment. So we can use our capabilities to detect if an asset or piece of equipment is working within its zone of maximum efficiency, it's not getting hot, it's not burning excess energy or going outside spec. Then we can deploy our machine learning to get a real-time alert um, to make localized decisions which are faster and how we have faster corrective action.